What's up, everybody? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today it is Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody, and welcome to the video. So I want to say real quick, I'm making a video. This is kind of another talking piece like we had before about the hell tides. And thank you guys so much. That video is blasting, and I think I have the most comments on that video out of any video that I've ever made for Diablo 4 or any Diablo in general. So again, thank you guys, the viewers, so much. Now I have another topic here while we're like slashing through this um, nightmare dungeon. I kind of wanted to point something out because half the time I'm not really paying attention when we're just like speeding through. But there's still some like items I'm always looking for which is like boots or daggers or I always pick up rings and amulets just to see because those are really hard items to kind of get your stat priorities right. And I'm level 89 as you guys can see here and yes I am dressed just as a Jedi. My robes are over there. My cloak. But uh, I've noticed that sacred items are continuing to drop, as you guys can see here. Um, we've picked up some, and more recently, this dagger. And it's becoming a really, really annoying occurrence when we're in World Tier 4. Now, I do want to give credit where credit's due, because the devs did make really good changes that, like, while you're in World Tier 3, it's only supposed to be sacreds. And while you're in World Tier 4, it's only supposed to be ancestrals. Now, I like that and I love that. And you can still get blue gear as well as yellow gear um, and gray gear in both World Tier 3 and 4, but they drop at the Sacred and Ancestral mark. However, this is still not the case. I am getting Sacreds in World Tier 4 when I'm almost level 90. And then another big issue with this is the vendors. Itemization in Diablo 4 is definitely something that still needs to be improved. And I like the steps that they're going forward, but with those one changes to sacred and ancestral, not only should I never have the items drop on the ground when I'm in a particular world tier, they 100% should not be in the vendor. I should never see sacred items in the vendor at world tier four, right? Just like I shouldn't see ancestral items in world tier three when I'm looking at the vendor. Now, if there's some kind of secret, some kind of secret level cap or gate that i don't know about to where those things are filtered out even more you guys can let me know down in the comments below please let me know um and maybe maybe i'm just blind to that and i just haven't noticed but uh i didn't even get the stuff because i left that's sweet um <laughs> that's funny but uh yeah so it's you know, I always thought that maybe it was once I got to 80 or once I got to 85 or once I reached a certain level cap that the items would be, you know, especially in the vendor that they would change and they would always be ancestral or always be sacred depending on the world tier that I'm in. Uh, and that has not happened. So it's still very annoying when you're trying to level up gear. Like I'm trying to make get the gear for my end game frozen or build. And when the items are dropping that are, end up being sacred, it just really messes up trying to really push for that because I'm never going to keep this dagger. Never going to keep this dagger. Now, let's point out some, a few things that I think why some of this stuff happens. Okay, these sacred items drop maybe for an alternate tune or an alternate character. Or maybe if I'm going to make another sorcerer, I can have this dagger to you know fall back on as I'm leveling, etc. But I don't think that's the case considering how much storage space they actually give us. This is really only enough for one, maybe two characters at best. So I don't think that these are for alternate characters because you can level them so fast anyway. So I'm not sure why these continue to drop. And I really don't like that it's taking up an item drop that could be potentially another item like at least an ancestral item or maybe an item that i need for my build or even better yet like a very good legendary or even a unique that i could use for my build we're always searching for certain item pieces when you're trying to level up and build or even change over to a new build like if i want to spec into ball lightning or if i want to spec into you know firewall or fireball whatever the case is it just really sucks to see sacred gear still dropping in world tier four when i'm level 89 and then even at the vendor, like the vendors, if you guys haven't seen my videos in the past about the vendors, definitely check the vendors because sometimes they can have godlike gear. And again, look at this. Not only am I still getting blue items, it's at least ancestral, which I would never use because we don't have a way to change this. 
But three out of the four items that are random are 100% sacred. So I just, I'm never going to spend this money at the vendor. Same thing here. All but one item is sacred and the only one is ancestral. Now, how do we combat this? Because we don't want this to sound just like a complaining piece, but we want to come up with some solutions here. So a few things that would happen. One is a loot filter, just like all these other games, Path of Exile. Um, what is it? Path of Exile. What's the other one? Uh, Last Epoch. They all have loot filters. Okay. They all have loot filters to be able to filter through the loot, filter out all this bad crap, and I can get down to the nitty gritty of what exactly I need for a build. So that's one option. That would be the best option to filter all this stuff out. Even if sacreds were still dropping, we could at least never see them again. The second one is we need crafting. Crafting really needs to happen in Diablo 4, in my opinion, to kind of help mitigate some of this gear. Because like, for example, like, let's say I did want to use this staff and I'm going to play Firewall. Well, we got intelligence on this. We got the increased damage to crowd control enemies, and then we have more damage to burning enemies, which is awesome. So let's say we wanted to take this staff, buy it, and if we could craft and upgrade it somehow to make it a rare, we could do that. Now, the only thing is, is that I guess you could put legendary powers in certain pieces, like a rare, and then it makes it a legendary, obviously, but being able to craft some of this gear and at least modify it to change it besides just slapping a power on a rare item would be a great way to kind of help mitigate these things so like let's say i wanted this dagger with all of these stats that's fine well i'm losing a lot of damage one because of the item power and two because it's a sacred item so if there was a way for us to take this sacred item and make it into an ancestral and increase the item power even more or at least it would increase the item power when it became an ancestral that would be really cool unfortunately we don't have any of that and it makes itemization even worse when you think about it in the grand scheme of things when i'm trying to get items for my build now i know if you play in a session you know a couple hours or over the course of the week etc you're gonna find some really good pieces but i still don't think with the change that they implemented that I should be finding any sacred gear whatsoever at level 89 in world tier four it just should not be happening i don't know you guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments below like the video don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace happy halloween